Aeromobile 5.0, an idea for a door-to-door -door flying car with four seats. The Aeromobile 5.0 was created by the Slovakian firm Aeromobile. An idea for a flying car that uses vertical takeoff and landing has been developed for this vehicle. During vertical takeoff and cruising mode, it generates thrust from two electrically driven propellers mounted on the tips of its wings. Seating four people and capable of flying without human intervention, the 5.0 is ready for takeoff. The horizontal thrust is produced by an electrically powered pusher propeller that is situated on the back of the craft. A range of 435 miles is what the corporation is claiming the 5.0 will be able to attain. Additionally, it will have airbags and a full aircraft parachute for added protection. Merging the ease of driving with the swiftness and efficiency of flying, this revolutionary vehicle embodies a hope for the transportation of the future. Xpeng X2 by Xpeng Aerot, a division of Xpeng Motors, came the Xpeng X2, a fifth generation aircraft. Its intended use is for future city flights at low altitudes, particularly for shorter trips like tourist or medical transports. The X2 has a futuristic look with an enclosed cockpit in the form of a simple teardrop. Plus, there's enough space for two people and their bags. With a top speed of 81 miles per hour and a flight time of 35 minutes, this aircraft is powered by batteries and features eight electric motors in addition to propellers. The airframe is constructed with an aircraft aluminium framework and carbon fiber composite. X2 safety features also include a ballistic parachute in case of an emergency, distributed electric propulsion, numerous redundant systems, spherical environment detection, ground monitoring, real-time video, and omnidirectional camera. It can also return and land autonomously. Airbus Pop-Up To ease traffic congestion in densely populated megacities, Airbus has developed the revolutionary pop-up concept vehicle system, which is entirely electric and produces zero emissions. This ground and air optimized modular system is perfect for multimodal transportation. An eight rotor, electrically propelled air module, a ground module powered by batteries, and a carbon fiber passenger capsule make up the system's three primary parts. Using an app, the traveler plans and purchases their vacation. Based on passengers' preferences and the details of their trip, the algorithm recommends the most suitable method of transportation. As soon as the capsule connects to the ground module, it becomes a city automobile. In heavy traffic, the capsule detaches from the ground module and is propelled by the air module, transforming into an autonomous air vehicle for urban areas. This groundbreaking idea is going to change the way people move around cities. Pivotal Blackfly one fixed-wing aircraft that Pivotal has developed on its third-generation electric vertical takeoff and landing platform is the Blackfly. When landing or taking off vertically, the whole plane tilts, not only the wing sections or rotors, which are responsible for reorienting the thrust. Through the elimination of redundant parts, this design simplifies and lightens the load. Missions such as special operations, surveillance and disaster, and emergency response are suited for the Blackfly. It provides the utmost in flying pleasure, while also ensuring your safety and comfort. All aspects of the product life cycle, including development, instruction for pilots, reporting of flights based on data, and technical support, influence safety. For the time being, the United States Air Force is testing the Blackfly. To purchase a pivotal Blackfly, prices begin at $190,000. Samson Sky's Switchblade, a three-wheeled, legally on-the-road vehicle that can be transformed into a flying car, is the Samson Sky's Switchblade. From your garage, you may easily drive it to a neighboring airport. Within three minutes of reaching that point, the tail will expand and the wings will spread wide. Then, you can reach your destination straight in your registered aircraft, taking off and landing at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour and 13,000 feet, respectively. The Switchblade has a climate-controlled cabin, all-wheel disc brakes, a high-tech dashboard, 
and state-of-the-art flight equipment. Disc brakes, a whole vehicle parachute, an optional autopilot system, front and rear crumple zones, and protection against intrusion and rollover are among its other safety features. You should expect to pay at least $170,000. This vehicle offers a whole new level of mobility. It's exhilarating, safe, and practical. Klein Vision Flying Car the Klein Vision Air Car is a flying car that was created by Stefan Klein and it was manufactured in Slovakia. It had two seats. The primary fuselage may be converted into a road automobile with four big wheels and the vehicle is designed to look like a sports coupe. While in the air, the car is responsible for 30 to 40% of the overall lift. It is equipped with wings that can be folded out, tail booms that can extend and carry a high tail and a propeller that is a pusher. It is powered by a BMW engine that is 1.6 liters in capacity and produces 104 kilowatts of power. After a run of approximately 300 meters, the prototype takes off at a speed of approximately 120 kilometers per hour. It is approximated to have a range of 1,000 kilometers and a cruise speed of 170 kilometers per hour. Over the course of approximately 2 minutes and 15 seconds, the transition from automobile to airplane takes place. J2000 Flying Car An innovative idea from Jetoptera is the J2000 Flying Car. A race car couldn't keep up with this small, streamlined machine. Vertical takeoff and landing are within the J2000's capabilities, as are top speeds of 200 miles per hour. A long-distance traveler or air taxi service could use it because of its 200-mile range. The J2000 is revolutionary among vertical takeoff and landing planes because it foregoes propellers in favor of a novel Fluidic Propulsion System FPS. Derived from Dyson's bladeless fans, this device generates strong thrust by circulating a little volume of compressed air through ambient air. With two up front and two out back, the J2000's FPS features four hoop-like thrusters. The craft's thrusters fold into its body once it's airborne, while the rear hoops propel it forward. Because of its revolutionary design, the J2000 outperforms its competitors in terms of weight, noise, and efficiency. PAL-V Liberty the Dutch company PAL-V came up with the idea for the PAL-V Liberty, which is a one-of-a-kind mix of a three-wheeled automobile and an autogyro, also known as a gyroplane. It is necessary to possess both a driver's license and an autogyro pilot's license in order to operate it. The design is tiny and conforms to the restrictions that are now in place, which makes it a flying automobile that is both practical and functional. When the vehicle is on the ground, the propeller and rotor are halted and power is transferred to the wheels. This enables the vehicle to travel as a three-wheeled car. Additionally, it has a high center of gravity, which contributes to its stability when in the air. The Liberty was introduced to the general public in February of 2017, and the production model was presented for the first time at the Geneva Motor Show in March of 2018. It is anticipated that the initial shipment would take place in the year 2023. Aeromobile 4.0 A vehicle that combines the capabilities of an automobile and an airplane, the Aeromobile 4.0 was introduced to the public in the year 2017. Additionally, it incorporates a cutting-edge automobile crash structure that is constructed out of composite materials. In addition to providing a point of attachment for the wings, the integrated carbon cradle that is located in the center of the aircraft houses the power unit. At its highest speed, the vehicle is capable of traveling at 360 km per hour, but its maximum speed on the road is 160 km per hour. When compared to a conventional airline, it is anticipated that it will reduce the amount of time spent traveling due to its seating capacity of two. Advanced safety technologies and features, such as pyrotechnic seat belts and dual-stage airbags, are included into the design of the Aeromobile 4.0 during the manufacturing process. Cavarite X5 A concept design for a long-range hybrid electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, the Cavarite X5 was developed by Horizon Aircraft. The aircraft is designed to take off and land vertically. 
One pilot and four passengers are able to be accommodated within this sleek and contemporary design. This aircraft is outfitted with a pusher propeller for conventional flying, as well as a fan in wing system that has been patented for vertical takeoff and landing flight. When in VTOL flight, the wings can slide open, and when in forward flight, they can snap back into place. The Cavorite X5 has a range of 500 kilometers and is capable of attaining a maximum cruise speed of 350 kilometers per hour without braking. It is a promising advancement in the field of advanced air mobility since the design of the aircraft places an emphasis on safety, practicability and operational flexibility. Hoover Scorpion Bike In addition to being referred to as the Scorpion 3, the Hoover Scorpion Bike is a breakthrough vehicle that combines the design of a conventional motorcycle with the technology of a drone quadcopter. This electric-powered hover bike has the capacity to carry a maximum weight of 104 kilograms, which is equivalent to 229 pounds, and it is capable of reaching speeds of up to 43 miles per hour. In addition to having a range of 13 miles, the Scorpion 3 is capable of reaching an altitude of 33 feet. Its flying time can range anywhere from 15 to 40 minutes, depending on the cargo the aircraft is carrying. It takes three hours to recharge the batteries, and it only takes one minute to replace them or recharge them. The Scorpion 3 is not merely a concept. Rather, it is a quadcopter complete with a crew that has been put through rigorous testing and is now ready for usage. Bellwether Flying Car Voler, the Bellwether Flying Car, is an example of a novel kind of electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft perfect for city skies. Its wingless lifting body and concealed propulsion mechanism make it eco-friendly and suitable for use in urban areas. The third generation Voler, the Oryx, has a small profile and features improved airframe design and flight control technologies. With dimensions of 3,700 by 6,300 by 1,900 millimeters and an electric motor, the Oryx is a spacious three-seater. Extending flight endurance and optimizing performance for negotiating complicated urban settings, it is currently undergoing active flight testing in Dubai. The Voler is scheduled to be released to the public in 2028, with starting pricing likely to be in the seven figures. The company's long-term goal is to get the price down to the level of car ownership, though, so that production can scale up and become more efficient. Airspeeder Crewed MK4 Aluda Aeronautics Airspeeder MK4 is the world's fastest hydrogen electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft when it comes to vertical takeoff and landing acceleration. From a standing start, it can achieve a maximum speed of 225 miles per hour in under 30 seconds. It was designed and constructed in Adelaide, which is located in South Australia. A Thunderstrike hydrogen turbo generator provides the electricity and it has a range of up to 300 kilometers with it. Because it is built to be as agile as possible at high speeds and low altitudes, the MK4 is an excellent choice for racing in general. With a takeoff weight of only 950 kilograms, it is also in an incredibly efficient manner. There are plans to hold the first crewed races in the year 2024. The introduction of this groundbreaking technology paves the way for an environmentally responsible future for private air travel. Joby Aviation Based in Santa Cruz, California, Joby Aircraft is an aircraft startup that has venture capital backing. Their goal in creating an electric V-Taxi is to make it easier for people to get around in the air. By cutting down on travel time, the innovative electric aircraft from this startup aims to simplify daily living. With its six electric motors and vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, this aircraft can reach nearly any settlement. The aircraft is ideal for use in congested metropolitan areas due to its whisper-quiet operation. A multi-year testing program with the FAA is now underway for Joby Aviation to certify their vehicle for commercial operations. The company has already flown over 30,000 miles on full-scale prototype aircraft. In an effort to lessen the impact of aviation on the environment and human hearing, they are working on a more efficient system of human transport. Turismo, 
Ali Technologies is responsible for the design of the hybrid hoverbike, known as the Exturismo. It is a new representative of air mobility that has the potential to be utilized in a wide variety of domains. From tip to tail, the hoverbike measures approximately 12 feet in length, and it is approximately 8 feet wide and 5 feet high. It is painted in a striking black and red color scheme. With the exception of the enormous propellers and landing skids, it nonetheless has a similar appearance to a conventional motorbike, despite the fact that it is significantly larger and heavier than a conventional motorcycle. It weighs exactly 661 pounds. In addition to being able to carry a weight of up to 100 kilograms, the Exturismo is powered by both an internal combustion engine and electric power. Flying at speeds of up to 62 miles per hour, it may travel for up to 40 minutes. In the neighborhood of $680,000 is the price.